Hello and welcome to Deliberately Creative. I'm Stephanie and I want to welcome you to a holiday card project. Let's get going. So getting set up to do your doodle cards. Now one of the things that I found really helpful was to use a piece of the same card and cut a three inch square out with a one inch border around it. So to get this card front ready with the washi tape, I'm going to take my cardboard or cardstock here, template, set it down, and I'm going to make a little mark in each of the corners and a little spot in the center on the sides. Tiny little dots. You don't want them to be super strong. You uh, want to be able to erase them easily. So then on the outside of those dots, I'm going to take a piece of washi tape. This is any low tack tape works. And this is making the framework that we're going to be drawing inside of. What the washi tape looks like doesn't matter. It's not staying on there. And that is all you need to do to have your cards prepped and ready to start drawing and coloring and painting on. This one is going to be a fun holly branch, I think. And it's really going to be quick and easy. I've already prepped the card. This is 140 pound watercolor card that I am drawing on. Uh, first, I'm using a mechanical pencil. Any pencil will do though. And then I'm using a permanent pigment ink. This one happens to be a Molotow black liner that is the 0.2 millimeters. So it's small-ish, but it's not too small. To start off with, I want a stem that my holly leaves are being attached to and that the berries are attached to. So I'm going to start off sort of not all the way in the corner, but off the edge right about here. And I'm going to come across and give myself a swirl just because I want one. Uh, that's how I like to have the branch ending. This would be the end of the branch where it was coming off the tree. It would not be a curl, but that's okay. We're making a fanciful holiday card. And then I want to have a couple leaves, not too many actually. One, this is the center of the leaf. I'll have another one where the center of the leaf is coming this way. And then maybe a third one where the set where it's kind of crossing behind. We'll see how that goes. Let's get the leaves in and then we can adjust where the berries are going. Oh, and I do want one that's kind of going off that way. I'm going to go ahead and take my pen and get this main branch of the stem put in. And I'm going to do it in, for, whoops, well, I went off there, didn't I? That's okay. I'll be able to work that right in. to the leaf that's up here. So don't worry about it. If your pen decides to take a walk without you, you can do anything. You can make it work out. Nothing said that that, that one up there had to come off at the line mark that I put. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and say, well, this is the center now, and I'll just tip it like this. This is still the stem and that center bit of that piece of holly. I don't really like the angle this branch is coming off, this leaf. I'm gonna swing it just a little bit more and I'm going to make another parallel line right next to it and then have it come into a point. This is the center of the holly leaf. And then this one that's coming down, it's actually going to go all the way off so I can go ahead and say boom and just bring that down 
Wow, see, my lines are doing really weird things. Again, it's okay. I want this one to lift up a little bit higher. So I'm going to lift it up and maybe not even have it cross that line yet. We can decide if that's going to happen when we get to that leaf. You see how my, my first lines were just placeholders. They were not uh, the absolute, it has to be right here, marks. So to make the actual leaf, we're going to come up away from, or down, away from the main stem. This becomes the stem of the leaf right here. And we're going to go out and out. We're going to scoop in and scoop in. And if your lines don't match up, just join them up. We're going to scoop in again and scoop in again, but I'm coming a little bit closer to this center line right here. We'll scoop in again and scoop in again. This one's getting kind of a, a fun little lift shape to it. So because I went beyond where the middle stem or middle spine of this leaf is, I'm just going to take and connect it just like that. We're going to do it again. We're going to go scoop. And actually, I'm going to let my scoop go all the way out and touch that one, that first leaf that we did. Scoop out. Then we're going to scoop down. We're going to pretend like we're touching, scooping down and in. See? We're making it look a lot more dynamic, having it going behind that other leaf. This one right here, we'll do the same thing. We're going to scoop out and scoop out. And I don't mind if I go all the way off onto the tape because then I have a place to touch my pen. I'm just going to draw right off the edge of the tape towards the leaf and we're still just scooping. I'm going to make that one come down to there. We're going to scoop and scoop and scoop right into the middle. Then we're going to do one more right here. You see how this one had that little bit that was sticking out still? That's okay. We're going to scoop out and I'm going to have it be a really big leaf. So I'm having it stop at the stem and start again once we're past it and then stop at the stem and we're going to do that scoop and scoop. The leaves don't have to be perfectly shaped. They don't have to all be shaped the same. This is like a real holly bush. You don't have things that are perfect all the time. I'm taking that kneaded eraser that I have stretched and got it worked out, softened it up so that I can get to a clean spot. Right like that. And we're just going to lift off that pencil. When you're doing your pencil lines, try not to draw too dark. I had to push a little bit harder so that you could see it better, but I want to get most of that pencil off of there now. You save yourself a lot of work if you just make tiny little marks that are very faint. So for the berries, we're going to take the pen and we're going to start drawing some circles clustered together. We're going to make them go in front of the stem where it sort of magically happens. I'm going to go ahead and I want some more berries clustered right here. So we're going to draw some circles and some C or U shapes. 
Let's see, I'm going to pretend there's a berry that's right here behind these. And then bring that one up right there. And then maybe another berry here. I like the holly berries, so, you know, we're going to, we're going to fit a bunch of them in here. I should have drawn the berries in before I put the ink in. Now, something to make it a little more detailed, I'm going to go ahead and draw a line around on the inside of these holly, kind of like the variegated hollies that have that white edge around the edge, a white edge around the edge. <laughs> A little white margin around them and then when we color this in we can do it really quickly I'm actually going to do my coloring mostly in speed video just because this is more about drawing the doodle than about coloring the doodle but I'll go ahead and give you the speed video of coloring just so that if you're a little confused, you can have, you know, a little bit of guidance. I'm just giving sort of that little end where the, where the blossom end of this would have been. Just like fruit. The berry is sort of the fruit of the holly. And maybe I want to draw another line along here. And I'm going to go ahead and sort of shadow around this outside edge when it's down low and around the inside edge on that upper side. I'm just going to put a little bit of shadow in here, here and there, just to make it easier when I'm coloring it. Oh, let's see. And if you want, you can go in and do your little lines going out towards the points, the little veins. Just little things, small details if you decided that you didn't want to color it and you just wanted to do the little details, that makes it work. And I'm just going and putting little little detail lines, little shadows, where things overlap. Again, this is, you know, your doodle, your project. You can do it any way you want. I'd love to see your projects. I'm putting sort of a little shadow where things overlap. Because then when I put my color in, it's going to be fairly translucent or transparent. And the pen work is going to show through. Oh, that looks good.
just little bits here and there. I'm trying to not move my paper around too much, so I'm kind of going at some interesting angles. Say I want that a little bit shadowed. And then we've got going towards the points, the veins. I hope you're enjoying this class. And we are just about to the point where I'm going to go into speed and do the coloring. You notice it's just a few little lines here and there. And this is a bit of a branch coming off, going off the edge of the paper. I can color it in or not. Oop, forgot that one. There we go. All right. Oh, that's pretty. All right, so the colors we have, don't know if I'm going to use them all, but we have the apple green, crimson red, olive green, lime peel, sepia brown, yellowed orange, indigo blue, and poppy red.
So right here at the end, I did use the Signo Uniball UM153 medium tip white pen. And I love this white gel pen, pigment ink. It is amazing. It goes over the top of the colored pencil. You just have to have a very light hand. You get it started off, off on another piece of paper and it just starts flowing and it will stay on the colored pencil unless you get in there and scrape it. You know, always sign your work. Find some place unobtrusive and you know, even if your signature is just your initials, that's all I'm doing. Doing my initials in my box. All right, so now we're going to pull off that tape. And you'll see how pretty it is to have that lovely, kind of a forced border, but it's not all the way around the whole thing because we didn't go all the way to the edges. And then try and lift out your pencil marks as best you can that you used to put your tape down. There we go. And fold that. And there we are. Fun hollyberry leaf. Winter, Christmas, Kwanzaa, whatever you want to use it for. I'll see you at the next lesson. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this video. I really enjoyed it. I love these cards that I've been creating this holiday season. There are several more cards. There's a couple more that will be going up on YouTube. There will be a full card lesson that is only going to be on my Skillshare. So if you want to know in advance when that lesson goes up, go ahead and click the Skillshare link down below and sign up for a two month free Skillshare subscription. You can cancel before the end of that and never be charged anything. Just a suggestion for the holiday season, it's a great deal. Thank you. Remember to go out and do something creative. Take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. And I hope to see you back here again really soon.